going on flipping cricket fans we're back out here at the water we're doing some more pond fishing summertime is the time to be pond hopping so we hop in ponds <sighs> for these local people y'all should know where i am around the loma to north carolina area shout me out let me know where y'all from but we out here at a little local local watering hole Anybody ever fished out this place here, they know exactly where I am, especially by this dock right here. Let's see if we can get bit. It's kind of rough. Hopefully y'all can hear me good. The man over there with the weed eater. We had a local park. And uh, called Luther Brit Park. It can have some good fishing at times, but oftentimes it's tough. So, so we um, came out here to do a little video for you all on how to catch them in highly pressured situations. And just like I showed y'all in the last previous videos, my go-to girls or my go-to lures rather, crickets, is uh, the good old trusty shaky head. This is one I have the other day from when I was fishing. Just pulled it off the boat. I came out here with it. I just lost the fish. Y'all didn't I didn't get it on camera. But I just lost one. You got somebody out here trying to photo bomb getting his rod caught in the tree. Cause he think he's the captain of the fishing team. I am. I think he's the captain of the fishing team. His name is Elijah. I call him Mr. Kank Fish. Ain't that right, Mr. Kank Fish? Ain't that right? I told you, I told you he can't fish. You're talking about he got a bird's nest. Told you. Told you. He can't fish, but he loved it though. He loved to try to catch him. So right now, just finesse baits. Finesse baits in highly pressured situations is the way to go. Like right now I'm fishing with pretty much a full size trick worm. I'm gonna actually, you'll see me right now, downsize. This place here, I guarantee you every day, there's two ponds here. There's a pond that's 3.2 acres. And I think the other one is um, uh, right at four acres, like three, nine, or a little less than four acres. So I downsize my worm. Make it a little smaller, a little more compact. You can catch some good fish out here, especially in the wintertime, crappy. You can come out here and limit out on crappy. There's some good crappy here, but in the summertime, it's terrible as far as the crappy. But a little smaller cricket on my, drum, on my shaky head. Just as I took about another quarter inch off. Drop it right there side that dock, let it sit. And then I only brought the shaky head today and I brought the drop shot. And the drop shot, I'm gonna be throwing nothing but a finesse style, uh, nothing but a finesse style little finesse trick worm. We got Isaiah, it's Isaiah. He throwing a, right now he throwing a larger turd. He trying to flip. Say what now? It's a hula stick. He said he's throwing a hula stick. So he gonna be doing the hula hula. What can I do? Back out here again. So y'all remember some of the techniques. 
a lot of the little pond hopping techniques that I've honed and all my fishing skills, majority that I've honed, I honed them right here on these grounds. So whatever I've caught today, all of this fishing, every time I come out here and fish brings back so many memories. I remember getting dropped off <laughs> and people come up, how you catch so many fish? Those were the days. Now, we're showing them how we catch them. We on YouTube. So I had to, I could never do a YouTube channel and not revisit this place. This is the place where we got it all going. Before there was ever a flip in a cricket, uh, anything. There was fishing at Luther Brick Park. Got it's Isaiah over there, Mr. Can't Fish over there. Now you might throw one of them um, Strike King TRD joints with a little thump on the back. That might thump get off. Back. Yeah, that might get off. Yeah. yeah. Kick with the flat spot. They don't rise up like the other one. Mm -mm, they lay down. It's like you pop, pop, and let it fall. Uh-oh. What's that one? Look at there. Yep. Jump. Mm. That's that drop shot, boys. I'm telling y'all, summertime, it gets bit. This is my two, four, four fish today, and I missed one on the shaky head. The best fish of the day that I lost. Ah. It's on a shaky head. Bam, baby, we got the meat. Hey, it's pond fishing. We take anything that comes with it. Fun day at the park. Can't fish, boy. Oh. You? Right. I done caught four. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Y'all, boy, check my YouTube channel out. Flipping crickets. Y'all might see yourself on there walking across. This is why we call them. Mr. Can't Fish. Oh, yes, you will. Mr. Can't Fish. He done went over there. Uh-oh, hold on. Can't talk junk right now. Got another one. Oh, oh, oh. Time to talk noise, boys. Look like I got some meat. Look like I got some meat. Drop shot gets it done. Bam, baby. We got the meat. When you come out here to Luther Rip Park, ladies and gentlemen, on average, that's going to be about your average size fish now in the wintertime. You come out here and catch two and a half, three pounders during the winter. Now, it ain't going to be as fast and as so-called as furious, but you can definitely get some good fish. How you work your drop shot? Oh, oh, tight oh, tight oh. line of us. Uh, Check me out, boys. Right on that grass line. <laughs> tight line of slack line. Tight line.
Right on the top of the lip. We got the meat, boys. It's a monster. Thank you.